the time running out for lawmakers to pass a balanced budget. Today, Republicans in the House and Senate came to an agreement. WRTV's Meredith Hackler is live at the State House with some of the highlights from the $44 billion budget. And Meredith, I know there is a lot to unpack here tonight. Yeah, Nicole, absolutely. And as you said, these are just a few of the things in the overall budget. But that being said, House lawmakers and Senate lawmakers originally had some very different ideas of how the state budget should be written. And one of those major differences was the expansion of the school choice program. Senate Republicans didn't want to see it expanded and House Republicans did. With this current budget proposal, looks like House Republicans are getting what they wanted. But first I want to start with mental health funding. It's something we've been hearing about all session long and that is Senate Bill 1. So the way the budget is written, it gives $100 million to fund mental health programs programs over the next two years. That's 30 million less than what was requested from faith leaders and mental health professionals across the state. Next, let's talk income taxes, something we all care about. The budget also speeds up how quickly income taxes will come down for Hoosiers. Right now, Hoosiers pay a three and a half percent income tax. That will be reduced to 2.9% by 2027 instead of 2029. And then there's school vouchers, that school choice program that I talked about earlier. The budget will expand that by 400%. That means a family of four can make up to $220,000 a year and qualify for a voucher. Traditionally, voucher programs are meant to give low-income families the opportunity to send their kids to a school of their choice and help with tuition. Democrats call the expansion of vouchers despicable, while Republicans say it will improve the state's education system. Our caucus, though, is supportive of uh, parental choice in schools and always has been and uh, probably will continue to be as we uh, try to uh, continue to move, move, move our state forward and, and improve our education. It's, it's a double tax cut. I mean, you know, even with the income tax uh, speeding up that for people who are wealthy, they get more of a cut. And then in regards to uh, the vouchers, you, get, you are able to get another cut. So you get a double tax relief uh, for people who are wealthy. Now, one line item that Democrats who they say they do agree with is the elimination of textbook fees. That was also a priority from Governor Eric Holcomb himself. Republican lawmakers say that that is a separate line item, meaning that neither schools or parents will have to pick up that bill for textbook fees.